So we'll call this 50 Reasons to Have Hope for 2021 in the United States. Reason number one, the picture that I'm showing, it's okay not to be perfect. If you can have positivity with such a misfortune as that, then anybody can. If you ever look in the mirror and say, I can't believe how ugly I am. Oh, no girl could ever love me. Well, this girl seems to find some hope, so it doesn't matter how bad it gets. Uh, reason number two, it's okay to be negative and closed-minded at times. Meaning, don't you can still have hope even though you're feeling disastrous about everything. Somebody once told me that they thought I was closed-minded and negative, and I later realized what a closed-minded negative thing to say. And someone just wrote to me that they think that uh, all I talk about is clouds, dark clouds, and that's all I ever write about. I'm like, yeah, but dark clouds, they make flowers grow. So it's really all, it's all in how you look at it. There's no such thing as, it's okay to feel hopeless because there's hope in that and all that, right? Every negative feeling is evidence of good feelings. Uh, reason number three, necessity breeds invention. We do our best work when we're, we're at a, we're painted into a corner, right? When we're against, backed against the wall. There's an expression in uh, Machiavelli, he calls it death ground. And that's where you p purposely position your army against a cliff because then they're going to fight for their lives. It might be the art of war. I think it is. So, as disastrous as things get, the more um, ingenuous we're going to get, the more creative and the more impressive we're going to perform. Uh, number four Yes, you are outnumbered 99 to 1. Uh, wonderful people are always 1 in 100 or even 1 in 10,000. But those great people have more um, energy and they're so amazing. They, That's enough to counter the 10,000. You look at Gandhi, you look at any great person who ever lived, they were more powerful. That one person was more powerful than 100,000. Uh, number five, don't worry about the bitter hearts. I got that quote from Jim, Jimmy Eat World song. Um, uh, Lloyd Kaufman, a writer, once said that uh, he's a movie maker. He owns Troma. Who, they gave James Gunn his first shot. He's the guy that made Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyways, he said, don't worry about an incompetent person that you have to work with because sooner or later they're going to find themselves excluded from all the good circles. So again, don't worry about the jerks because they're going to find themselves sooner or later kicked out. You just keep doing your thing because incompetence just leads. It's let them lead themselves off a cliff. Number six, it's even worse when the enemy wins if they're really that bad. And I'm thinking about, you know, a certain person who's running for president. Even if he wins, that's going to be the worst thing for him. The worst thing for him was winning in the first place. And if he wins, it's just going to be all the NBA players are never going to play. Nobody's going to play sports anymore. It's just like when the richest people are taking all the money, they need the poor people. That's where they get their money. So it's just going to get worse, and there's going to be more unrest, and they're going to learn their lesson even harder, and we're going to come back even greater. So let them win. As far as I'm concerned, that that's fine. Seven... Truth is its own reward. Seeking the truth in and of itself is victory. Because when you care about what's what's right and you, you acknowledge falsities, you're congruent with yourself. You ex have a better life experience, a more real one. Whereas somebody who lies all the time, they don't even believe what they say anymore. So that in and of itself is a hell of a life. Eight... Uh, my favorite uh, writer, Dostoevsky, once said, Hell is not having the ability to love. And so again, heaven is being able to love. And if you're able to do that, then you've already, it, you can always have hope. It doesn't matter. You could be broke. Your belly may be empty, but your soul is full. Like they said on Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, nine, we're living in an amazing time where... Um, Technology allows us to connect with each other, and in a way, we're more powerful than the people in charge. Um, people can band together and take down any any big corporation. 
So we have more power than we've ever had. We're, we've never been more equipped to deal with whatever they throw at us. Mm. Ten, um, we are all important when we do good things. We might not get the credit, but imagine how many lives a positive person influences, even though they get no credit. There is a quote again in the, I think it's in the Tao Te Ching, that uh, when a bad leader leads, he says he did it all by himself. When a good leader leads, the people say, we did it ourselves. Eleven. Always have to remember that there are still great people out there that are doing amazing things. I watched the, uh, the World Health Organization having a conference about a month ago, and they were saying, all of them, all over the world, like England, Germany, all of them were saying, listen, if, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on politically. Uh, some of the best scientists who have like inspired me are from the U.S., from all over the U.S. They're, they've done incredible things. Let's not forget how many important things and wonderful things the U.S. did for us. So, you know, let's. I, I think uh, the moral I took from that is let's be strong for them when they're doing so terribly right now. Let's not forget. Twelve, the grapes of wrath. I never read it, but I heard a great anecdote, and I don't even think it's true, but it's I think it's beautiful. Basically, they spend the whole book trying to get to California because they think things are going to get better when they finally get there. And they finally get there, and they find out it's just as shit as it was where they came from. And it's very depressing. And at the very end, um, there's a piece of bread. A little kid has a piece of bread, and he looks over at like a, a, an older an adult, and he he offers him the piece of bread and that's how it ends like the the beauty of giving is just so much it's just that makes it all it doesn't really matter how bad things are when there are people out there who give to each other uh 13 we've already seen a lot of beautiful things since this disaster afflicted us uh one i thought there'd be a lot more crime but actually people are not people are actually in a way, people are acting more like a community, helping each other out more. And what the NBA just did, you know, taking a stance, is beautiful. Like, in a way, this is... We're seeing some wonderful people come out of the woodwork. Uh, 14, the, uh, the upper class, and I, by that I mean billionaires, have distanced themselves so much from us, they might come to regret it. Now everybody else is bonding and we'll probably be banding against them. And uh, it's not too much to say that people might just not buy from them anymore. If it comes down to it, if they're going to just insist on taking all the money and not care about, you know, anybody else. And uh, 15, but continuing on on previous subjects, we no longer need the billionaires in a way because everything's pretty much free you can get music for free you can like we have never been a, had access to so much you can look at the Sistine Chapel on your computer you don't need to go to Rome you can you can do anything at home so and for for like almost free so they don't actually have anything we need anymore 16 look at the worst case scenario okay and that would be living in the states in 2021 when everybody's evicted everybody's homeless everybody's starving well what's going to happen they're not going to be able to buy anything so all the corporations are going to be screwed they're going to uh well whatever i mean they can live anywhere they want they'll, they'll no longer be any like land that can be owned by anybody because everybody has to live somewhere so they're, they're just the, the the upper class is just removing themselves entirely because people have to do something and they will 17 this kind of crisis this type of crisis was inevitable um now everybody's gonna have to just ag admit that global warming is real and viruses are real it's just and the more they deny it the more they're gonna have to admit it later so that's great and it means that we're gonna have to like a big change is gonna come the entire uh system is gonna have to change it's no longer gonna be a system of greed if the greedy win again, it's just going to be even more striking that it has to change. Uh, the worst thing that could happen, I'll repeat for, uh, you know, Donald, 
is for him to win. That could be the worst thing. The best thing for him is to go to jail. Uh, 18, this might lead to a revolution in, in art. You know, I'm not saying Bob Dylan was art, but it might get back to that, where people no longer want to watch millionaires and billionaires make crappy music that's tailored, doctored, bolt, whatever, you know? So it might get better. Art might have a revolution. Everything will have a revolution, actually. Uh, 19, aliens might actually want to visit us instead of passing by and look, saying, look at all these idiots that are killing each other. Uh, 20, ever since this thing started, the animals have had more oxygen. Um, everybody's had to stop doing their things with oil and drilling and destroying, cutting down trees. Everything had to be, had to stop. And the environment was never doing better. So in a way, this has been the best thing ever. 21, uh, in sorrow, seek happiness. Again, Dostoevsky wrote a story where some woman goes to a priest and she goes, you know, I lost both my children. Um, why, why, do I, why should I keep living? Like the misery, the sadness is just too much. What's the point of even living anymore? And the priest says, in sorrow, seek happiness. Don't avoid your sadness because that's exactly where you're going to find salvation. Look to it. Um, it's kind of a Buddhist idea, like experience the sadness completely and you will, you will come up, you will rise up even more powerfully. 22, and I got to admit that all these points are the same point. Um, we're finally realizing that the money system, the money system doesn't work. That people don't just work because they need money. People don't just live so they can make money. People like to work. People like to exist. They like to <laughs> give to each other, and it's not just money-oriented. 23, the reign of Hollywood is over. And that's self-explanatory. 24, Little House on the Prairie. I started watching that, and I was like, wow, they're living just the way we're living. It's almost as if they've got a thing going on. Because they don't come, and it's a lot of social distancing. The nearest neighbor is like five miles away. And they do okay. They don't even have TV. And that's just how they live their lives. And it's pretty wonderful. It's like, it's, this can't be, this is not that bad. You know, but way back when, 200 years ago, you wouldn't be able to see your parents more than once a month because you have to travel five miles. And you wouldn't see your family ever again if one of them decided to take, take off to another state or, you know, whatever, travel. Um, 25, it's... The whole world is now coming together because we're all realizing that we all have to face this together. I don't think I can't remember ever having this situation where it was in everybody on the whole planet's best interest to uh, to fix this problem. Twenty six. This uh, big problem we're having, this worldwide problem, really does show very quickly who the stupid people are. Uh, just. Uh, from the the good people, so it's now obvious if, if the person's an idiot when they say things like "it doesn't exist" or "I I'll take my chances not wearing a mask." So like, okay, well then you're an idiot. I mean, it's wonderful, you know, you've made it crystal clear. Twenty seven. Unless you're somebody who likes doing orgies and stuff, it's actually pretty nice having people keep a respectful distance. Um, it's like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> And I, I don't want it to end. Uh, 27, when we come out of this, everybody's going to have a whole new respect for science. Everybody who skipped science class during high school, this is like a science course where they have to learn that like how science works and how you don't really question scientists when they've been um, accepted and peer-reviewed because you don't question why your cell phone works. You, you enjoy that so much. But they're going to have to understand that science works even when you don't want, you don't, you're not happy with the outcome. You know, hurricanes and whatnot. Okay, so I did 27 twice, so that counts as 28 too. I'm sure I'll, fit, I'll screw up the numbers because, because I don't know how to count. So that was 28. 29. 29 is, is that this has actually forced me and probably others to become more familiar with the law. For example, what impeachment actually means. Or what precedent, legal precedent is. 
So now I'm getting very familiar with the law. Not very, but, you know, a little bit. And that will only aid me and every little guy uh, if the big guy decides to crack down on us. 30, I don't go to bars anymore. And I spent 20 years going to bars trying to meet the woman of my dreams, like a Victoria's Secret model who looked like Catwoman and who never aged. And it never happened. So that was a lot of money. So now I don't have to do that anymore. 31, just like science, uh, my point on science, we're going to have to get much more, or, or law, we're going to have to get much more familiar with the way that the politics works because they bungled it so bad. We have to start becoming aware. We have to start behaving more like a democracy. Um, an idiot, uh, the word idiot comes from ancient Greece, and an idiot is literally somebody who doesn't participate in democracy. An idiot is somebody who says, well, you know, I don't care. I got a nice house, so I'll keep voting for that dude. And they don't give any care for the, their neighbor who might be starving. 32, I don't have to look at ugly people's mouths anymore because they wear masks. 33, sluts are out of business. It's made me, I've thought a lot about it. It's got to be a, it's got to be a lot harder these days to be a slut. And it makes me feel great because I've never been good at uh, sex. In 34, it's nice to see Mother Nature stick up for herself again. Because I believe that a, uh, I don't want to be censored. Whatever this thing is, this thing, it is Mother Nature. This is, this is climate change. In 35, I heard a politician say about a year ago that like, the idea of climate change is an abstract idea and it's not uh, concrete, like something like the economy. And I'm like, okay, so nature is not, that's abstract. Nothing is more real than nature. If anything, the economy is abstract. So this is actually just shedding light on how ridiculous such an idea is. 36, the way that the uh, government has been carrying on is very similar to a cult or an abusive boyfriend or girlfriend where maybe we're going to learn this once and for all from this because people are still denying what they are doing and so you're going to learn the hard way and then finally you're going to dump that guy he's no good for you and like I think haven't we all had that speech with somebody like this person is bad for you they're hurting you why do you keep going back to them and that's it's like a cult and, and so they're going to learn once and once and for all, I believe. And 37 would be the fact that this uh, problem we're having, this worldwide uh, thing, um, affects rich and poor equally. So it makes us reassess whether being rich or poor is actually has any importance. And 38 would be that everybody, uh, all the dumbasses and airheads have to stay home. So maybe they'll actually read a book for the first time. <laughs> 39 is admittedly um, negative, but the herd will thin itself out. Like, if you really do deny that science exists, then by all means, uh, jump in front of, jump into that tornado and prove us, prove that the tornado doesn't exist. <laughs> we don't really need stupid people. Uh, 40, carrying on from 39. Um, there's a great story in Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where they're like, oh, so we're in a spaceship and we're headed, we had to leave our planet because it was going to be destroyed. And they're like, well, okay. And then, so how did that happen? What happened? Well, the first spaceship had all the scientists and artists and the second uh, spaceship had all the other smart people. And we're on the third uh, spaceship and we're the politicians and lawyers and, uh, you know, basically the, the, the crap of the world. And then, like, okay. And we're going to a new planet because our old planet was going to be destroyed. And they're like, all right. And I'm like, okay. And then they're like, wait a second. And you basically you find out that there was no, the planet wasn't going to be destroyed. This was just a scheme to get rid of all the mediocre assholes from the world, from their world. So they shot them up in space and said it was being destroyed. Oh, okay, 41 is that the new generation, the children that are alive right now, 
are going to have their eyes wide open to the uh, corruptness that's going on at the top. 42, the following joke will now have a lot more significance. A guy walks into a pet store that has a sign on it that says, uh, dog, we're selling a dog that can talk. And he goes up to the dog and he goes, uh, is it true that you can talk? And the dog goes, yeah. And uh, my last owner was Elvis Presley. He's like, really? Yeah. And also, I went to the moon with Neil Armstrong. He's like, really? Yeah. Also, uh, you know, I uh, I don't know. I uh, I found the cure for, uh, you know, I found, I discovered gold. Uh, whatever. And so the guy's like, hey. He goes up to the owner, the, dog, the pet store owner, and he goes, uh, I can't believe this. You've got a dog that can talk. Why are you selling him? And the owner goes, because he only says bullshit. 43, the disreputableness, if that's a word, of the media forces people to actually uh, get their knowledge more accurately and talk to each other, like in person, and debate what's going on. People have never been more active in uh, all this crap. Okay, 44, I wouldn't be able to be, I wouldn't be making a message about hope. <laughs> under any other circumstances. <laughs> so he put it the best in me. I'm struggling for these last ones. Okay, 45. It's just going to be so amazing seeing douchebag who's in charge and screwing all this up. You know who I'm talking about. Donald. Um, it's going to be just so wonderful seeing him go to jail. Like, that's going to be the, so amazing. Mm, 46. Uh, people, idiots, now have a new respect for nature. Like, no, you can't. We can't just go back to the way it was when we were destroying the environment. It just won't work like that. Uh, it's never going to go back to the way it was, and it never should have been that way in the first place. Oh, okay, this is kind of funny. Uh, Forty-seven uh, um, people are start going to start putting more money into VIRUS research. Forty-eight uh, people shouldn't be traveling, anyways. Like, you think you're hot shit because you go and you look at the pyramids? You're not. You're still an idiot. Uh, people should never have been traveling in the first... Don't be traveling. Like, it, it always created smog and pollution and shit. Just stay home, like me. Uh, I guess 49 is that, for me at least, this has enabled me to um, get in communication with people all over the world through social networking and whatnot, who I never would have met in real life. Because now it's like, you know, visiting your friend five blocks away is just as difficult as talking to somebody in Australia on Snapchat. I'll end it with uh, 50 is, uh, we now we have to go to Mars. Unless one of the astronauts uh, does, just refuses to wear a mask. <laughs> if you like gays, click like. If you like blacks, comment. If you like women, click notification bell. If you like gay women, subscribe. And if you like gay black women, uh, Patreon human warnings. Give